Check this out here with the 2023 1500 Rebel Lunar Edition. Comes in that uh, ceramic gray. I guess it's kind of like the moon color. They're trying to make it for the Lunar Edition. Let's check this baby out. Swap those wheels. And you can see this release was the Auto World uh, muscle trucks, but it's really just Auto World Premium Series Release 4, which uh, was a weird set because there was only three cars and they released them in two colors each, but it wasn't the full normal five car release. So uh, this might be one that could slip through the cracks on you. Um, I have it here with a previous Auto World Ram uh, 1500 release. This is uh, supposed to be the big horn trim and it comes in that color. They call it Delmonico Red. It's obviously a maroon color. Um, this is probably one that you see on the streets much more often than the gray one. Uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at both of them while we're here. Now I already wheel swapped this one to black uh, wheels with the mud terrain tires. The stock car does come with like a chrome type of wheel, um, probably that are a tiniest bit smaller in diameter than these. So this one really gives it a good stance. Um, they got that really nice uh, 4x4 logo on the back there uh, to show you the big horn. And there it is again, big horn, big horn on the license plate. And just a really nice looking car. And the most noticeable thing is the grills are completely different, which looks amazing, super realistic. And you'll also notice that they have different headlights. Um, I think the Rebel has the same headlight that they used on the Patriot Blue Ram, which was the other version of the maroon one here. Um, those were noted for having different headlights at the time, although some collectors uh, weren't happy with the fact that they weren't the clear insert that they're just, but for me, because I'm pretty particular about that too, and I, I think they look really good, with really fantastic headlights, especially on the maroon with that, that orange uh, little probably turn signal in there. Um, no, they really look fantastic. It doesn't bother me a bit. And the Lunar Rebel came with some really nice tires. Some Goodyear Wrangler. I'm definitely going to use those on another truck very soon. And it's just always nice when you get to use the wheels that you're taking off and not just throw them out, which is what, you know, why you're replacing them because they look bad. These actually look great. We're just going to make the car look even better in custom. All right, here we have option one. Option two, the M2 off-road wheel and tire package. Gives it a really cool off-road look here. Uh, going down in wheel size uh, from those big sport wheels. So you go down in wheel diameter and you go up in tread to make up for that difference. And it really just gives it a nice off-road look. So we're not out on two. And I was really digging two. And I can't guarantee these will fit, but I'm really liking option three. Big sport wheels. I think they're originally from a green light charger. So I keep it with the Dodge family here. And those are the um, Hot Wheels premium kind of off-road type of wheel. They, they use it on a lot of trucks. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to go with those. All right, there it is. And as one uh, final customization, uh, I removed that hood decal, which uh, some may like, but uh, I think that's a really sweet look without it there. And there's the finished product. And I'd almost be remiss if I didn't come around the back and show you the license plate. Uh, really nice license plate. It says, um, what's it say there? So there you have it, it says the moon and it looks like it's a Tennessee license plate. All right, hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time.